Comedians who died way too soon. Fatty Arbuckle. Fatty Arbuckle was a funny, silent comedian. When you talk about comedians, and yes, I know about the trial and scandal, and he did not do that. Like, if you raise your hand and say, Hey, Professor, I think Fatty Arbuckle was a great, silent comedian. The professor said, Get the fuck out of here. We talk about Charlie Chaplin and Buster Keaton, motherfucker. He was a nice person. He didn't do that terrible scandal thing. Just saying. Curly Howard. Curly Howard was a was a funny motherfucker. <laughs> he died of a heart attack. And he was replaced by Joe Besser and Joe List. The original Curly can't be topped. Jimmy Don. Jimmy Don was most famous for the Mickey Mouse Club, but he did other things. He was the only adult on the show with kids. Ugh, weird. Lenny Bruce. Back in the day when you said fuck, back in the 60s, you were immediately getting arrested your ass. That's what happened to Lenny. He also did drugs and died of a drug overdose. Will be missed, dude. Freddie Prince. Freddie Prince was was only 16 when he appeared on Johnny Carson and Chico and the Man. He died of Russian roulette and not suicide. Missed. John Belushi. John Belushi was funny on SNL. He died of a terrible drug overdose. But his legacy lives on in National Lampoon and the Blues Brothers. Both are in the National Film Registry. Will be missed, John. Marty Feldman. Marty Feldman was a funny British actor. Most famous for his crooked, fucked up eyes. I wonder, how the fuck did he get those goddamn eyes in the first place? Andy Kaufman. Andy Kaufman was a funny comedian who did crazy stuff like got into a fight with Jerry Lauer and David Letterman. Some people say he faked his own death, but that's fucking bullshit to me. Even Andy would say that he didn't fake that death. Gilda Radner. Gilda Radner was a silly woman comedian on SNL. She died of cancer, but her husband Gene Wilder had a cancer foundation named in her. She would be proud of that. Sam Kinison. Sam Kinison screamed at most every motherfucker when he comes to his stand-up routine. He died in a terrible car crash. Bill Hicks. Bill Hicks was a was a comedian. Some conspiracy douchebags thinks thinks he's Alex Jones. Fuck Alan's Alex Jones. If Bill were alive today, he would say, Hey, uh Alex you look like me, you fuckhead. John Candy. The original Uncle Buck is my favorite Uncle Buck. John Candy died of a heart attack while making Wagons East. He will be remembered on SCTV and Spaceballs. Ray Combs. He was the new host of Family Feud after Richard Dawson fucked every contestant. He even married one. No, I am not kidding. But... He got fired from Family Feud and did Family Challenge. He later took his own life by suicide. Where are people going to realize? Do not kill yourself. It's not the way. Get some fucking help, you fucking asshole. Sorry about that. Chris Farley. I live in a van down by the river. Matt Foley, Tommy Boy. Chris Farley could do it all, but he died of a terrible drug overdose. You will be missed, Chris. I hope you're living in a van down by the river. Phil Hartman. Phil Hartman of A Thousand Voices was on SNL. He was also on News Radio and The Simpsons. His death is most terribly shocking. He was shot and killed by his wife. And then his wife killed herself. That was just terrible. Madeline Kahn. Madeline Kahn is most famous for Mel Brooks movies. She died of prostate cancer. She will be missed. Know what I mean, Vern? <laughs> Jim Varney will always be Ernest P. Whirl in our hearts. He was funny in commercials and in Toy Story. 
He died of cancer. My main man, John Ritter, for Three's Company. He also did dramatic work like in Stephen King's It and Bad Santa Ends. He died of a heart attack on set. He will be missed. Mitch Hedburn. Mitch Hedburn was a, was a comedian who was always stoned all the fucking time. He died of a terrible drug overdose. Yeah. Richard Jewell. Richard Jewell was a very funny comedian, most famous for the TV show Platypus Man. That's a good fucking show. But he died of suicide. Again, why the fucking suicide? That is just terrible. Richard was funny, though. My main man, Bernie Mac, from the Bernie Mac show. It's good friends with Steve Harvey. He died of a disease. I, I don't know which disease, but he was funny. He was funny. Greg Geraldo. Greg Geraldo roast every person on Comedy Central's roast. He died of a drug overdose, and he will be missed. He will be missed. Pat O'Neill. Pat O'Neill was very funny. Did stand up everywhere all the time. He, he had a heart attack and died. He will be missed. John Prowlin. John Prowlin was a very funny guy who made fun of himself because he ate food. Died of a heart attack. He will be missed. Robin Williams. My man Mork from Mork and Patch Adams. He, he killed himself. Robin Williams will be missed. You will be missed, Jeannie. You will be missed. Ralphie May. Ralphie May was a very funny guy. And he tried to lose weight. He died of a heart attack. He will be missed. Kevin uh, Banana. Ke Kevin Banana. I'm sorry I didn't get his last name right. But he is funny. He died of a terrible disease that he hid from the public. He will be missed. Fremen Johnson. Fremen Johnson was an up-and-coming comedian. But his life was taken. He died of a drug overdose of fucking cocaine. Cocaine's a hell of a drug, and he will be missed. And my favorite screech from Saved by the Fucking Bell. Like many child stars before and after him, he, he got arrested, did porn. Yeah, he did porn, but he was funny on Saved by the Bell. He will be missed. Who are your favorite comedians who died too soon? List them down at the fucking comments.